Hello and welcome to Pictures in Data Types. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this video, we're gonna see how we can insert an image into a cell value using a data type and then send that into a pivot table. Exercise one. In this exercise, we have a list of employees. We have their employee ID, first name, last name, and department, city, and state. Now I could easily create a pivot table based on this data range, but if I wanted to make the pivot table more interesting, I can easily add a state flag. The trick to doing this is to convert this state column into to a geography data type and then inserting the state flag image automatically. Here's how we do that. We select the state column, we go to data, and then under data types, we pick geography. Now Excel has converted that state column into geography data types. The really cool thing about geography data types is there is a lot of rich data stored with it. To add that rich data, I can click this add column icon. And this is a lot of the rich data that's available through this linked data type. For example, I can show the state abbreviation and many other data points. The one I want right now is called image. And this brings in the state flag. Now that this is stored in a cell, I can use this in a pivot table. So let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. Let's create a pivot table right here. I'm gonna go back to my data and I'm gonna click insert pivot table from table range. I'm gonna pick existing worksheet and I'm gonna pick this cell and I'm gonna click OK. Now I can add the state abbreviation if I wanted to. I can add the count and the department. If I wanted to make it more interesting though, I can easily add the image instead. So I can add the image and take off the abbreviation and this is gonna give me a column of all of the state flags. And since this is a pivot table, I can organize this in a variety of different ways. So the point is by adding pictures into cells through the data types, it makes it very easy to insert these pictures into pivot tables. Hey, hopefully this helps. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope Hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 